Hi, Tata. Nice to meet you. Hi, same here. Nice meeting you. Yes. yes. Uh, I'm Tata Zoom from Tata Zoom Medical Services from yes. Myanmar. Uh, could you please uh, introduce about yourself uh, to Myanmar patients? Yes. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Nidhi Sarawat. I'm working as a senior IVF consultant at Krista IVF, New Delhi. I'm working in the field of IVF since 10 years and helping people who want to conceive. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, could you please uh, share and explain uh, the available services at the IV, uh, Krista IVF Center? Yes. At Krista IVF, uh, we treat patients who are suffering from infertility. We have services like IUI. We have IVF with ICSI. ICSI is intracytoplasmic sperm injection. Then we have the facilities of hysteroscopy, laparoscopy, blastocyst culture. That is an advanced technique for making the embryos. Then we have TISA, that is for those who have zero sperm or nil sperm count. So we cover the andrology part also. For the male patients who are not able to conceive, we cover those also. So, uh, could you please explain more about the IVF process, like uh, how many steps do patient needs to do, how many days patient need to stay in India for this IVF okay. process? See, first I will tell you which all patients need IVF treatment. IVF is indicated for patients who have been trying for, conceive, for conceiving and they uh, suffer some problems, like blocked tubes, where those the fallopian tubes are blocked, those who are having a poor ovarian reserve, uh, those uh, with a fibroid in the uterus, uh, those with PCO, endometriosis, uh, and the male factor, especially if the you know if the sperm count is low or it is nil, yes. then we uh, do uh, TISA. TISA. There are certain options where the husband, in spite of having zero sperm count, yes. can conceive with their own sperms also. So we treat those patients with IVF. Yes. Now, as now, let's come to the steps of IVF. IVF treatment starts from the day second or day third of the period. Yes. When the patient gets the period, yes. we do some blood test on the second day. Based on the reports, we start the injections. Yes. These injections are hormone injections and which the patient takes for around 10 to 12 days with monitoring in between. Yes. Monitoring means ultrasounds and blood, blood test. Okay. So, uh, if I start the injections from second or third day, then I'll see the patient on fifth day, yes. as in so. Uh, total, it takes around 10 to 12 days of injection. Yes. After uh, receiving injections, when all the follicles, means the eggs are ready, we take the eggs out under anesthesia. That procedure is completely painless. Yes. Uh, the eggs are taken out, their quality is assessed, and then we do ICSI. ICSI is in technique yes. where we put in single sperm inside single egg. Okay. Yes. This procedure yes. otherwise happens inside the fallopian tubes. Okay. So we do it outside in the lab and we make the embryos. Okay. Embryos are basically the starting stage of the baby. Okay. Then we grow these embryos outside. Yes. They grow to day three. Then we assess and then take them to day five. Okay. And then we transfer the embryos. Okay. Now, uh, the transferring of embryos uh, is decided based on certain hormones. Whether we do a fresh transfer, yes. means transfer within three to four days after the egg pickup, yes. or we freeze all the embryos and do transfer in the consecutive cycles. Okay. So, on an average, if a couple wants to come and take treatment, uh, it takes around two months or so. Okay, got it. On an average, two months. Yes. If there is some other problem, like uh, the couple, uh, the female is having a polyp inside the yes. uterus or yes. anything, then we treat that also, yes. and then we do the embryo transfer. Ah, okay. Okay. So, uh, could you please tell me about the uh, success rate of the IVF process? Uh, but I, I already know uh, it depends on the patient condition. Yes. Yeah, but yes. uh, how about the average for the couples? Yes. Yeah. For an average, if we transfer a grade A embryo also, then the chances of having a pregnancy is around 65%. Oh. That's as yes. far as we go by the books. Yes, yes. But if the if everything is fine on an average, the rate is around 70%. Oh. So if you take it between 60 to 70% in between that, if everything is good. Okay. It all depends upon the quality of the embryo. It depends upon the endometrium, yes. the patient. Yes, yes, yes. So it varies patient yes. to patient. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, so some of the patients have no ovum like an ovulation. Yeah. Uh, so uh, some patients need to consider for the ovum donor process. So yes. you please explain about this. Yeah. Those patients who don't have an egg, those who have very low egg reserve yeah, yeah. and they don't ovulate also, yeah. then such patients we give them donor oocyte program yes. in which we take eggs from a donor bank. Yes. 
for that patient yes. and we fertilize with their husband's sperm. Yes. We make the embryos yes. and then we do the transfer. Yes. And this procedure is completely done as per the law, as per the guidelines provided by the government. Okay. And uh, we do every, you know, the legal work and everything and then we proceed with the procedure. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, can patient choose the uh, features of the organ donor? Some of the patients wants mm -hmm. to look like them or some like them. See, it all depends upon, we search for a donor yes. who looks like the donor. Yes. So they can give specification, uh, the height, yeah, okay. uh, the complexion, yes. the education. Yes. Okay. Uh, but the donor cannot see the recipient and the recipient cannot see the donor because it's completely anonymous. Yes, yes. Sure. So, but they should trust us that we will search for a really good donor oh. for them that matches them. Oh, okay. So patient can choose to match. Like this, they yeah. can give specification. Okay. We want this and oh, then okay. accordingly we can choose a donor. Okay. okay. So, uh, uh, some patients have no sperm like uh, isospermia. Mm -hmm. Is there any procedures to get sperm yes. or like this? Yes. Yes. If a husband doesn't have sperm, so it's, that's completely isospermic, then we first go ahead with some hormone test of the husband. Yes, yes. Just to have an estimate whether the sperms are being formed inside the testicles. Okay. And then we proceed with the procedure which is called as TISA testicular sperm aspiration. Yes. This procedure is done by an andrologist. A urologist comes yes. and do the procedure under anesthesia. Okay. It's completely painless. Yes. So what they do is they uh, put in a needle inside the testicles okay. and they take the sperm out. Oh, okay. They take the spermatic tissue out yes. and then the embryologist yes. checks whether the sperm is there or not. Oh, okay. If a sperm, if the yes. sperms are found, yes. then we use these sperms for ICSI okay. for in an IVF program. But if no sperm is found, even on TISA, then we give them an option of donor sperm. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. So uh, some patients uh, undergo on uh, self bilateral self injectomy mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. couple of years ago. Now mm -hmm. they won't get pregnant. So mm -hmm. what about the procedures? See, see bilateral self injectomy means removal of tubes. Yes. You remove the tubes. Yes. In such patients, they cannot conceive normally when the tubes are not there. Yes. Then they have to go with IVF only. Okay. Because the egg goes inside the tubes, the sperm also goes inside the tube and the embryo is formed inside the tube. Yes. So when the tube is not there, yes. then the other way out for achieving a pregnancy is IVF. Okay. So that passage is bypassed. We take the eggs out, yes. mix with the sperm and make the embryos and then transfer inside the uterus. Uh, okay. Yes, one more question please. Uh, so some women uh, want to plan to get pregnant, to get the child in future, yeah. but they are not ready yet for a moment. Mm. So is there any plan for the egg freezing? Yes. Uh, those women who are uh, pursuing their career, they are studying and they do not want to get married right now or yes. they want to plan pregnancy later on, yes. then they can uh, go ahead with stimulation with injections. Yes. And then we make the eggs yes. and we take the eggs out under anesthesia and we freeze those eggs. Oh, okay. So whenever they want to plan pregnancy, yes. then these eggs can be used and they can be mixed with their partner's semen. Okay. Embryos can be made and they can plan pregnancy. Oh, okay. So how many years they have? They can store eggs? There is no exact years. It can be stored for even 15, 20 years. Oh, okay. So whenever they want uh, to plan pregnancy, they can use the eggs. There is no particular time like they cannot. So they have just be free and freeze your eggs. Oh, okay. Because right now the people, they uh, the girls, they are more career oriented. Yes, yes. So this is a good option for those who want to freeze their eggs. Yes, sure, sure. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for Thank your you. time. And do you have any comments or suggestions to Myanmar couples? <laughs> yeah. Uh, one message I would like to give you: If you are suffering from infertility, don't please don't feel alone. You can go ahead with the test, and you can plan a healthy pregnancy soon. Please don't delay it. Thank you. That's great. Yeah.